The Audi FIS Alpine Ski Racing World Cup Tour for the women touches down in the Italian Dolomites and the famous resort of Cortina d'Ampezzo. The Italian women's team are the hot favourites, having won the first four rounds of the women's speed circuit. And it was no surprise to see Sofia Goggia, the 30-year-old Italian star, win her fourth downhill of the season in her quest to lift the downhill crystal globe for the fourth time in her her career. This was a brilliant 16th downhill career victory, 21 wins in total. Goggia absolutely delighted to win in Cortina for the third time. Goggia ahead of Ilka Stuhetz of Slovenia on the comeback trail and Kira Weidel of Germany taking third position and a good speed performance for Michaela Schifrin just off the podium in fourth spot. Another brilliant performance from Goggia dominating at the top of the downhill standings on the Women's World Cup Tour. Good to see Stuhetz with her second podium of the season and second podium for Weidel. Day two in Cortina and the big downhill on Saturday. And a sweet revenge in the race for Ilka Stuhetz from Slovenia. After many years of injury and comeback issues, Stuhetz has finally hit top form. The world downhill champion from 2019 and the World Cup downhill winner from 2017 has new skis, new form and new pace. 24 hours earlier, skiing into runner-up spot here today, making it her 10th World Cup victory. And what a brilliant performance it was. Ilka Stuhetz back to her winning ways. Vikoff Lee from start number 30 in runner-up spot. And Elena Cortoni holds third position in the standings with a place on the podium. It's been a... Uh... A long four years, I have to admit, a lot of things happened. Actually, everything happened in between. So yeah, it's it's amazing to be back, and um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to to show my improved uh, singing skills later with the anthem. <laughs> a brilliant performance for Ilka Stuhetz of Slovenia, hitting peak form just at the right time of the season, with Norway and Italy second and third. The last day of the three speed races in Cortina d'Ampezzo and it's Super G 5 of 9 on the women's tour. Sofia Goggia, after a crash the day before, pulls out, leaving the door wide open for Norway's Ragnhild Movinkel to take her first win of the season. She also becomes the first Norwegian alpine skier to win multiple World Cup Super G races as a woman. She won her last Super G race in Courchevel back in 2022, but this was Mo Winkel in a real decisive mood with brilliant form. Mo Winkel ecstatic with her first win of the season ahead of Cornelia Huter and Marta Bassino. Kaisa yesterday, that was, her Her podium was my podium. Uh, I was so, so excited for her. And, and today I can I can re repay the favor. So no, like a great weekend for, for Norway here at Cortina and for sure also in Kitzbühel, but that's, yeah, it's been a, it's been a good, good weekend for Norway. Michaela Schifrin still at the top of the standings as we go past the halfway point of the season. The consistency of the American racer really paying dividends and Michaela Schifrin is on track to successfully defend her overall World Cup title. Congratulations to Ragenhild Movinkel with her first win of the season with the World Championships only a couple of weeks away. Huta, her second Super G podium this season. Bassino, her fourth in third place. The Women's World Cup Tour stays in Italy for a double giant slalom in Kromplatz on the 24th and 25th of January. And for more news, info and stats, join us at the FIS app or on FIS, the TikTok channel. <laughs>